just arrived at Home Farm in Sedba. And we're going to have an evening, our first evening in the roof tent. Let's get it set up. So we'll come out to Sedba today to test out the new tent box. We're just setting up the bed and we've got lights in there. Very excited to sleep in it tonight. Fingers crossed it all goes well. We're at a place called Home Farm in Sedba and uh, surrounded by mountains. It's lovely. Isn't it? This is the setup. You might notice the Discovery is looking a little bit different as well. We've got the roof tent up. The roof tent is a tent box light. It's the smallest one that they do, but I wanted it so that it wasn't taking up all the space on the roof. Eventually I will build a full roof rack and we'll have extra storage on the roof. We've got the round LED lights in the front of the Discovery. I'm not too sure how I feel about them. Not too sure if I like them or not. They might stay, they might go. You might also notice that there's no bull bar on the front. A very nice friendly guy messaged me on Facebook asking to buy it and um, I said yeah why not. <laughs> so I drove up from Liverpool in a very nice V8 Discovery with a roof tent on. Um, yeah, and he uh, purchased it. So we're now without a bull bar. The plan is to use the the money that came off the bull bar to go towards an upgrade on the Discovery, either on the cranked front arms or on some heavy duty steering arms, and the gearbox could be replacing as well. Are we ready? Got the duvet. Oh, Got to get the duvet now. I just thought of an issue. What's the issue? Right, well, this little thing in my jiggery, this blanket, doesn't stretch all of it. We've also got some solar lights down here charging up. We had them on the caravan a few weeks ago and uh, they're just down here. Fortunately, the sun's gone in. I don't know where it's gone. A big daft cloud's got in its way. Um, but yeah. A couple of weeks ago when we went in the caravan we'd bought them and we had them across the front of the awning they were really nice so I'm going to probably try and string them up over the tent somehow. We've got some little twinkly ones inside the tent it looks really nice. Yeah you might be able to see. I'm really excited to show you though. Are we set up yet? <laughs> yeah so this is the start of our trips away. We're going to try and do one a month, go away for a night without the children and uh, maybe do a walk. Careful you don't fall out the tent. I won't, I won't. Please don't say that to me now because you've got me scared. You've got your bum hanging out of the tent. Yeah, we're going to try and do a walk or just chill out, go out somewhere, go see something, see a waterfall, you know, anything. But just enjoy being out camping. Don't know how it's going to work in the cold. It's only a single skin tent, so it might be a little bit chilly in the winter months. We'll see. Could always snuggle up and get extra blankets and what have you. Sun's coming out. Look at that. I've got them lights in the shade now, so they're not going to get any sun anyway. I think I'll move them over there. We're all set up. We've got a dandelion and burdock alcoholic version. It's very nice. And the tent is ready. 
so I think it's time to show you what it looks like inside. It's a bit dark in here at the minute so we'll have to put some lights on and open some windows. Side windows. some lights. Yeah, like that. Oh, this is the tent. Now there's room in here for, it says three people. You can sit up, there's plenty of room above, and uh, yeah. there's probably enough room for two people really comfortably, three at a push. The plan is, if we do come away with the kids, we're going to have probably, our eldest Ada will probably be across that way, and Sophia will probably be in the middle or next to one of us. The idea is we're going to make sure that they can't get out of that side because it, we're quite high up and I'd hate for them to fall out or try and get out and fall so uh, they need to be somewhere they can't get out. <laughs> yeah, very uh, impressed with the tent so far. It's um, everything we wanted. One of the big selling points is this. Let me show you this. This was one of the reasons we bought, we went with this tent. We've got a skylight. So we can lay in bed and watch the stars at night. And it does put a lot of light in here as well. Yeah, really like it. And it looks quite cool on top of the car as well. So the original plan was to go and stay somewhere while camping, find a green lane and pitch up somewhere out of the way in the middle of nowhere. But we decided against it because we've not used the tent yet. We don't know the setup, we don't know how we're going to be doing things and what we're going to need. Um, we want to try and carry a bit of a, a minimalist kit so we're not carrying unnecessary stuff. Yeah, so this is a bit of a trial run. Only time will tell with whether it's comfy or not. Yeah. Now we're going to start a fire because it's nearly tea time and we're having steak for tea. quite funny. We're not very good at fire starting are we? No, not at all. <laughs> Tried chopping some logs and lighting the coal in a bag and it didn't work. So we ended up trying tissue paper. It's worked. <laughs> yeah, it's worked though, look. We've got a working fire. And that's our pile of logs. 
and we're going to be munching on some steak very soon when it's ready for cooking and over there we've got the potatoes on the boil potatoes on the boil So we're having steak, new potatoes and asparagus for tea, which should be quite nice. Yeah, I've also bought this little thing that goes on this water container, a little water pump. Um, it's not amazing, it does the job though, you pump it and it works, doesn't it? Yeah, you give it a little pump and it works. Um, it's just, it works on putting air into the container to push the water out, but the, this little thing here it doesn't really seal very well so we'll look at something a bit better in the future like I say this is our first trip out it's kind of a makeshift setup two minutes each side yeah so, yeah. Steak, <coughs> potatoes and asparagus. Finished off in peppercorn sauce. Lovely. Well, we've eaten our tea. It was absolutely delicious. Probably one of the nicest teas that I've had whilst we've been out camping. We've got the fire going now and we've all washed up. We're gonna get showered and uh, just chill by the fire and then head to bed. Um, let me show you, it's really, really dark at the minute. So let me show you the Land Rover and inside the tent now. It's quite nice, let me show you this. So we've got the little lights up here around the tent and then let me show you inside the tent Look at that and that's inside the tent very nice <laughs> very happy with the tent hopefully it is nice and comfy um, you can tell the temperatures drop now it's gone quite cold and uh, there's dew on the grass and all that kind of stuff so we're just going to chill out by the fire enjoy the heat of the fire and then uh, get snuggled up in bed and uh, yeah I'll see you in the morning. A bit cold, but it was all right. And that was our first night in the roof tent. <laughs> <laughs>